I just can't stand to be ordinary. I'd rather be brilliant or nothing at all. Who do I want to be? I'm going to be a brilliant and respected performer, a musician, singer-songwriter, actor, comedian, writer, activist, and motivational speaker, a creative. I want to be someone. I want to be excellent and revolutionary and have a positive impact in this world. Is that too much to ask for? So my teenhood is dedicated to working on myself and learning how to be self-sufficient. My ultimate goal in life is to fulfill the highest and truest expression of myself as a human being. The only thing in my way? School. This has no doubt been a challenging year and probably for everyone with the bushfires and now global pandemic, it really makes my dramas feel minuscule. But still, let me complain. First year of senior school, Year 11. This year has been quite a shift in a different dimension of my schooling. Simply put, shit's getting real. There are dreamers and there are doers in the world. Dreaming comes easy to me. It's the doing that seems to be the issue. I have a severe tendency to procrastinate. And as it goes, I'm really good at leaving things to the last minute. I know that from school and I hate it. I don't really get why I procrastinate. It's not like I put off certain tasks by doing menial things. I'm always busy. Maybe it's not even procrastination. Maybe it's just I've got a lot of things to do and very little time. I don't go on my phone much because I think phone addictions are normalised. I reckon social media was made to make people feel shit about themselves so that people would purchase their products. A typical capitalist society, profiting off other people's insecurities takes no fool to see that exterior beauty is a significant societal value. Everyone knows that it's not what life's about, yet stupidly we still feel the need to conform to the ever-changing ideal of what it is to be beautiful. I don't believe in exterior beauty, it fades. Internal beauty is where it's at and it lasts. All the time spent scrolling aimlessly through pictures of half-naked so-called beautiful people could have been a moment to sit with your thoughts and invite ideas. Well, that's what I believe anyway. Yeah, I definitely don't fit in. I think I worked that one out pretty early. I don't know. I don't really connect with my peers. They're great people. I attend a truly great school and with great teachers. I think it's just me. I think everything is just me. Maybe there is something wrong with me. It's like I'm on a different page. Tell a different book. It can be quite isolating, though. I know this is weird, but it can also make me feel kind of unique, one of a kind, special. As Roald Dahl once said, why fit in when you were born to stand out? But most of the time, you know, just, just alienating. A positive for my parents, because I don't have many friends, I don't go to parties, drink or do drugs. Although, I don't need to, because I'm high on life, clearly. I'm actually pretty cool. My fellow peers just don't know it yet. I don't believe in boredom. There is always something to do. I'd say I'm pretty independent. And you've got to be your own best friend, am I right? After all, my dad always says, You're born alone. You die alone, so you better get used to it. Sometimes it just feels like the weight of the world is on my shoulders. And it kind of is, from the future of the planet to the still living, breathing injustices of discrimination and prejudice. And even though this present generation is progressing towards healing wounds from the past by being the change we want to see, there is still a long way to come. It just feels like there's not enough time to do what I need to do in a day. I don't even have time to think about spirituality. It must be nice having that to fall back on in times of need. Sometimes I just feel so bogged down with the issues of the world that I just feel hopeless, useless. All right, I can do this. 
No, you can't. How are you going to live a successful life if you can't even finish a school assignment? Who am I kidding? I'm no one special. Look at me. I'm pathetic and highly delusional. Who do you think you are? You're a fool. Why even bother? You are never, ever going to be good enough. I don't think I like myself anymore. In fact, I hate myself. Like everyone else You just want to be Held so precious You lost your scepter And your crown That's okay No one can tear you down It's easy to forget That we're just beings on a floating rock Guess what? You've already succeeded. You're here. Mindset is key. Engaging in that negative self-talk and listening to those stories the inner critic offers you is not going to get you anywhere. When going through a dark time, it's important to remember the fact that everything passes. Your fears and doubts are not unique. They do not define you or make you who you are. In the grand scheme of things, we're pretty insignificant, really. Wow, Dad, that makes me feel so much better. Like everyone else. You are doing great. School, year 12. The only person putting pressure on you is yourself. Just stop. It's clearly more harmful than helpful. You know what you want to do with your life. Just show up to school and strive to be your authentic self and enjoy it. Learn. That's why you're there. Just do your best. That's all anyone ever asks of you. I accept you for who you are. You are enough as you are. Let go of expectations and stop overthinking things. Live in this moment because it's all you have. You cannot relive the past. You can't predict the future. Just get out of your own head. They ask us what's going to break the internet. I say the internet gonna break us. Uh, Sometimes in life you put.